Welcome back, folks. This is going to be the guide for Triple Trout here at White Moose Lake, the competition that is just a lot of fun to have. Just keep in mind you're hunting for trout and you need to use mono or floral line. And uh, there are uh, some interesting setups for you guys here. I will show you, um, but as you can see, do pretty well at it. There are two days. There's uh, this day, which is the faster day, the sunny day, and uh, the you have a cloudy day that is slower, um, where a 107 may win that day. And this is a comp uh, I've done in the top three multiple times. Won it. Uh, it felt like. Uh, after getting a first and a third, I felt good enough to put out a guide on it, guys. So here it is. And the setup you're going to want to use is I have newly found this one and a half ounce four out works pretty good. Or we have over here uh, the any of these three will work for the beginning. And then I will show you what I use at the end to gain a lot of points. Um, uh, right here, this X-Series bullet spinner also works. And this X-Series single spoon uh, does work. And this is the setup. It is the Zeus 810 and uh, the 44-pound floral. It doesn't have to be X-Series. I just use X-Series. And uh, the Spod Reel or the Kraken, um, uh, Kraken 8000. Uh, just keep in mind... If you're going to use the spod, the spod, you have to be down one notch, or you can use this one on full power. Um, but the Kraken is pretty reliable, or the 10,000 down one notch on the power. Uh, and we're going to go out to the lake here uh, real quick. Let's put on the 10,000 and go right here. And this is what I'm talking about by turning the power down one. Instead of full power, you go down one. And you're just going to cast right out here, as you can see. Um, just in between that rock and that rock is normally where I go. Sometimes I go a little bit farther out. And I will do it um, to speed. Here we go in just a second. I'll cast out so you guys can see it. And obviously, I'm probably not in peak time right now. I didn't look. but And I'll just do stop and go right at the top and it'll slowly sink down as you go well you can see there is already a nibble um, but anyway we'll reel in here quick guys and also for i'll do that over here till i get the uni splake the uni lake and two and then a couple trophies obviously one of each for sure and then what i'll do is i'll come over here to this corner and then I'll cast between that log in the background, the tree falling down, and that plant right there. And I'll just cast right out here. And you kind of want to move around. You'll get different stuff as you go. Uh, and for the and I'll, then I'll come over here for like 15 minutes. And then the last 15 minutes of the comp, this is something that helped me out tremendously. And this is the difference from me not from being in the top 10 to winning it is I will put on a this little barbless medium here at the end or uh, or sometimes I'll use a single spoon but mostly it's this guy here at the end and what will happen is you come back over here and you can get obviously trophy lake trout but you'll catch a lot of brook trout which is really handy. And you can switch at the end for the last 15 minutes and kind of go back and forth. The last 15 minutes of this comp is generally pretty slow. And uh, the brook trout do definitely add up, guys. So hopefully this helps you out. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.